you ever played a prank on your mum before? Yeah, I have done once or twice before and it did not end well. She uh, she gets a bit grumpy. Well, this is going to be fun because uh, we're <laughs> learning a lot about each other today and uh, you have to know, I do love a prank. Do you? I love a prank. You're a prankster. I, one of seven kids. I grew up always playing pranks on my siblings, but I guess the key to a good prank is, of course, that nobody gets hurt. Of course. So I'm thinking that we should prank call your mum. I think that can be <laughs> a fine idea. I hope that this doesn't get me cancelled because there are doms where when I'm being a bit silly to her, she can really let me know about it. Like my mum's, mum's Filipino and I don't know if you've ever seen the Asian mums before, but they can tee off if, <laughs> if you step a little bit out of line. So we, I'm happy to ring her. What do you want me to say? Okay, I reckon you should call her and deliver some news. The actual news you're going to deliver is going to be really mundane and really boring, but I want you to sell the story like it's the most exciting thing that's ever happened to you. Okay, uh, to be honest, I do this in day-to-day life normally. <laughs> I get, I make people feel that up and about about the most boring of stuff. So, all right, I'll call her and I'll um, I'll think of something that I can get her excited about, but I guarantee you she will shut it down profusely. <laughs> so I like the it. challenge. Madre, how are you going? Good. What's up? Oh, just still in um, Sydney at the moment, but I've got some pretty unbelievable news. Like what? Well, you know that getting married. I haven't. I've only been here for one night. How quickly do you think I fall in love? Come on, give it to me. All right. So, um, as you know, I walked into the new studio today. That excited. Walked in. uh, Recorded the episodes. Went sensationally. But how's I leave the studio and I'm getting ready to head back to the airport and before I leave, I've got about half an hour to kill and the producer comes over to me and says, would you like a coffee? And I said, yeah, of course I would. But as you know, like I've worked in that many offices and they never have my favourite milk. So I said to her, could I please have oat milk? And she goes, of course, yeah, of course we have oat milk. And she brought me back a coffee with oat milk and it was the most unreal tasting coffee I've had. That's a good news. Well, it gets even better because then she said, because the coffee was a bit bitter, dried me out. She said, would you like a water? And I jokingly said, because I didn't think they'd have it. Yeah, coconut water, please. And she comes walking straight in with a whole litre of coconut water. So I had an oat latte and a coconut water, mum. What the f***? What are you doing to me? What do you mean? Oat latte and a coconut water. Is that all your good news? Yeah, I mean, uh, do you have oat lattes and coconut water at your work? Yeah. Oh, well, I then we're have... well, then we're both doing really well, Ma. Okay, well, what time can I get home? I'll be home later on tonight, Ma. I love you heaps. Love you. All right, catch Bye. them up. Bye. <laughs> she wasn't too impressed, was she? <laughs> she wasn't too impressed. <laughs> crying was not happy with that as well just like that's your big news wasn't a fan of the oat milk chat out oh oh, Oh, that was so good oh yeah we might have to put a little beep in there i don't know how well that'll go down but (laughs) keep i'll keep that in mind i won't tell mom any more subpar news i reckon